my name's Mike Mitchell, M0MSN, um, and I don't know if you've seen my other video, but uh, I, uh, I did one about putting ground planes for the DX Commando in the ground using a carving knife and a piece of aluminium um, tube. Um, if you haven't seen that, I suggest you have a quick look, it might be useful. Uh, but I was asked by one or two people about um, the ground mount I uh, made for the DX Commander. So uh, what I thought I'd do in this particular video is show you uh, the ground uh, mount and also um, the assembly of the DX Commander and how quick it is now that that ground mount is there. Okay, so this is the DX Commander ground uh, mount which I uh, built. I basically dug a 30 by 30 centimetre um, hole about um, 10 centimetres or so deep into my lawn um, and put some threaded bar in it and a bit of waste pipe. So the threaded bar is these pieces here and the waste pipe is this bit in the middle um, and then poured concrete um, into the into the hole. Um, threaded the, uh, the DX Commander um, radials through a bit of hose pipe first um, and placed it all in the centre and as you can see poured the, the, the concrete um, in the hole, uh, let it set overnight and then the next day uh, I threaded the, uh, I put the ground plate on the um, the threaded bar and obviously connected all the ground radials in. Uh, so now I can basically mow round it without any fear of damaging the uh, the radials or indeed the radials being uh, chewed by the lawnmower or being seen. Um, there we go. So what I'll do now is I'll put the DX Commander together and then we'll show you how the SWR is and how it all works. I've uh, bought a little plastic case for all of the, uh, the various bits and pieces to go into. Um, as you can see, I've uh, got a, an old DX Commander. It's not a particularly new one. It just shows the longevity. These things work really, really well. Um, and uh, I've got all of my uh, elements um, labelled uh, with uh, various bungees attached to them so that I don't go wrong. Uh, I think I might even have a, an 80 meter one amongst this. Um, the uh, the guides, all of the all of the uh, um, hose clamps with their aquarium hose on, a bit of tape just in case I need it, um, and uh, well, we'll just uh, we'll assemble it. And of course, the old DX Commander pole itself. Just as a quickie, the uh, the Jubilee clips are there to stop the the, um, the pole from collapsing, uh, rather than uh, you know giving friction. So don't put the Jubilee clip here. Okay, put it there so that it's tightened on the on the smaller uh, portion of the rod, so that it won't go down into it. And if you put it here, it still might slide with a bit of water or rain egress. Um, and also you'll damage this because you're trying to um, compress this onto this uh, onto the upper section. If you just grip um, the upper section, it won't go down. So there we go, just a quick one.
sent to spread above. <clears throat> Plate Jubilee clip. Plate, because it seems to be obviously milled correctly. Jubilee clip, and that's to stop the tube from falling, not for the plate from raising up or going down. That one's relatively free floating. Uh, a Jubilee clip, again, on the smaller of the pipe. Um, then the spacer, uh, which is held um, reasonably uh, hard, but it will still turn, as you can see. There you go, you can still turn it. Time to put the elements on now. I don't know if you can see what I've done. I've got um, a, a loop in the cable just here. If I can see it, there it is, there you go. I've put a, a loop in the cable so that I can attach it to the, uh, to the upper spreader. Uh, this is the 40 meter element uh, to take the tension off the top of the, um, top of the aerial or top of the pole. It also goes through the, the 30 meter or the snake's eye connector or whatever it's called the two two bits that's quite loose and it goes through quite happily oh i'm definitely not as good as callum mccormick at doing this oh dx commander we do love you right okay so you can see how i've uh, used the aquarium tube to hold the uh, the 40 in uh, and also I'll go down a bit um, been uh, held here uh, under friction just to keep some tension on it and that's the, the 30 beside it but um yep yeah, okay let's have a quick look yep. see there's a i've put a loop here for when it was the 80 element because it used to hold on to the uh, the top spreader to keep some tension on it so that uh, it kept nice and straight. Anyway, there we go. There's the new middle spreader. And uh, there we go. Down onto the, uh, the base plate. Now, what I tend to do here is remove this the rubber bit here because that just so happens that the diameter of that uh, hole is exactly the same as the one on the... Uh... Let me show you, actually, let me show you, it'd be easier, won't it? Okay, so just to keep it all nice and neat and tidy. That's an insert. Okay. So it goes very neatly over that hole. So I'll screw this back onto the bottom. Right. Like so. And now that, that orifice is exactly the same size as the uh, as the little holding stub uh, and stops actually contact with the um, with the fiberglass, so it stops it from um, from splitting.
we've set the uh, the SWR um, scale here, and uh, we're going to go through the different uh, frequencies. On 10 megahertz, the SWR doesn't move. Um, on uh, the 40 meter band, as you can see, it's practically zero, and uh, it was the same on uh, the 20 meter band. Um, absolutely next to nothing. Uh, absolutely superb. What more can you ask for? So cool. Uh, the X Commander is um, definitely quieter than the uh, the Trap Diapo, um, and this has its advantages because the scope is able to pick up more faint signals um, because there's no so much background noise. Um, it's also non directional so that helps. Um, obviously, the the um, Trap Diapo is is an east west. Uh, well, it's not obvious to you guys, but obviously it's uh, east-west, and uh, which means that it doesn't pick up anything uh, north-south particularly well. Um, so as you can see, there's quite a few little waterfall signals with the uh, the DX Commander. If I switch it over to the trap diapole, the noise level goes up a little bit, but uh, we lose the same number of um, signals, but then we gain others. There is no doubt about it, the DX Commander antennae works incredibly well. There's no two ways about it. He's on a winner there.